we are going to save the galaxy. That is our mission. We know that these Nomu have been playing with time. And they realized that the black hole and the white hole had a problem with causality. People coming out of the white hole, time for liftoff. People coming out of the white hole were arriving moments before they left the black hole. And so the Nomu realized that here, perhaps they could step into the past by 22 minutes. They created a device there on the Ember and Ash twins that would allow them to do so. And they, they created a space station around the sun that would collect and transmit the power from the sun into those planets in order to power that device. But, and we know that the space station around the sun, we know they knew that this device was at risk of doing damage to the sun. They knew that it could create catastrophe. They did it anyway. Now, they didn't succeed because the universe didn't end while the Nomu were here. Instead, the Nomu seemingly died very suddenly. We don't know what caused it. They just seemed to die where they were standing. Children died playing. The grown-ups died in their living rooms. People just died wherever they were. And we don't know why. But it interrupted what they were trying to do because they never, as far as we know, never were able to succeed in going back into the past. <clears throat> and instead, what, tend to, what seems to have happened is they died out and then after dying out time passed a huge amount of time time enough for life to evolve on on our planet we started to explore into space venturing to other worlds and then something happened we don't know what and in order to save the world in order to save the galaxy we need to know what that something is. We know that what it does is it triggered the uh, it triggered the sun to go supernova, to turn into like a, a like a white giant or something and just explode, or into a white dwarf that just bursts and explodes and destroys the galaxy. We know that's what it does, and in so doing. It powers the device on Ash Twin and Ember Twin that then triggers the time loop. That's why it sort of consumes the galaxy and then simultaneously time resets 22 minutes into the past, giving us the chance to make it right, to fix it all. But we don't know why it happens now as opposed to happening in the past. Why now? Why didn't it happen when the Numo, when the Nomu created it to begin with? Something killed off the Nomu and reactivated it now. If we can work out what that is that now has reactivated it, <clears throat> then we can stop it. And if we prevent the sun from going supernova, then we can prevent the time from resetting as well as keeping the galaxy safe. That's the job. If we can prevent this thing from exploding, we can save the world. <clears throat> I never knew what these projection stones were designed to do. Ooh. You know what I mean? I wish I knew what the projection stone was for. Um, <clears throat> so now we need to discover what happened. So what we are going to do, I think, here is go to Brittle Hollow, which is where we're at now. We're going to understand the quantum realities, the, the quantum trickery that Brittle Hollow has to teach. I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. That's exciting. You're almost ready. But there's still one more rule you need to learn. Come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. 
The tower is on the opposite side of Brickle Hollow. If you follow the path west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower from there. My gratitude for the direction spells. I'll see you soon. So it seems that we're in the wrong place. <clears throat> we need to get to the other side of this moon. <clears throat> of this planet, perhaps. We're going to need fuel, I think, so we're going to take the ship. And we're going to go to the other... We're going to go back to it. We're going to fly around the planet. We're going to find the other side. Because if we can work out what has happened here, if we can understand what has happened, then we can stop it. And I think there's something to do with the quantum moon. I don't know if it, if it is something to do with the quantum moon, or if the quantum moon just, like appears to be related. Definitely something to do with the quantum moon. We're going to go to the quantum moon. We're going to find out. Ooh. Is this it? Is this the place we need to go? Certainly someone else has been here. Looks like one of our people rather than one of the Nomu. But still, a worthy adventure as we dive deep. Let's go find out what's going on here. I'm here! I did it! I put the ship down safely! Oh, in, well, in the, the ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs and it's like the ship never even hit the rocks. One of my better attempts. Feldspar would barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news is uh, I, uh, <clears throat> I haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door is broken and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one. Probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator and find a way down. Yeah, he's right. Door's broken. There's no way in from the top. I assume he would have checked that, but he doesn't seem like the most competent person, so maybe he wouldn't have. Let's have a quick gander, just make sure there's nothing up here. Gotta tell you, that this thing keeps spitting out fireballs and throwing them at me is uh, very distressing. Oh no, no, the ship! Oh no! Very bad, very bad news. Hop in the ship, let's get out of here. So he's gonna head north. So, you know, as much as I laugh at that gentleman for being, uh, for being incompetent, uh, I still don't really know how to reach the north of somewhere. So, you know, uh, that's on me, I guess. Let's keep going. Aha, what's this now? Now this looks pro- Oh, a quantum, a quantum rock. Uh-oh. I mean, it'll do. Frankly, I think we nailed it. We don't have time to mess around. Let's get... Well done, ship. <laughs> Did a better job landing without me than with me. <gasps> the quantum rock moved. Okay, yeah, this is this is what quantum rocks do, right? We need this quantum rock to stay where it is. While I do some investigating, quantum rock. Okay, here we go. The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. The entire planet, roots and all. The entire plant, roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. And I never see this, and I never see them move. How is that even possible? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant or my brain must be. Bloom is right. The trees do, do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read his notes. His notes, apologies, Bloom. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There is other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock moving in this same eerie way. That rock is unusual for another reason too. For another reason too, Thatch. It possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis. This rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? So we've come across that principle before. Oh, the rock moved. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Beneath your feet lies the no Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Good, this is exactly where we want to be. 
Surface integrity is only at 68%. Okie dokie. That's fine. 68% is not good news. Because uh, I guess when the surface integrity reaches zero, the entire planet implodes into the black hole below. Uh, which is, you know, uh, as things go, not great. Southern Observatory. Don't think we want to go there. Entrance to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. This is exactly where we want to go. Down, I would imagine. Off we go! Okay, surface integrity 68%. That's fine. We can deal with 68%. Let's go! Be welcomed to in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Ascend these stairs. Ascend these stairs. The crossroads. Oh, goodness. Okay. Ascend these stairs. So there's no ascending those stairs. Um, okay, well, uh, we're gonna have to use the crossroads, I guess. Whoa. By Jupiter's tent. Let's go this way. Oh heavens, oh heavens, oh heavens. Are we going the right way or the wrong way? I don't honestly know. But we know where this thing is and what it looks like, so if we do happen to plummet into a black hole, uh, I think I can find my way back here pretty quickly. <laughs> yep, I puckered so hard I pulled something. <clears throat> uh, hey! Hey! Uh, Rebeck! Oh, you launched. That's great. Great job, you. Wow, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes, ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only, uh, you've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm, I'm more surprised than anyone that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. I tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable, instead of being sucked into what's below. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and it seems to me this it seems to be the place with the best surface integrity, so I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? <laughs> That'd be, yeah. I learned something. Oh, cool. Uh, what is it? I found the Nomai escape pod on Brittle Holly. Wow, so then the Nomai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system, and they must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod. But what kind of trouble? And where did the escape pod launch from? I'm so curious. This is an amazing discovery. I hope we can find out more about how and why the Nomai arrived here. I learned something. I saw the Sunless City on Ember Twin. You mean there's another Nomai City hidden inside of Ember Twin? That's incredible. A whole city, and I had no idea it existed. This is great. How did they keep the sand out? If it were me, I'd be nervous about getting buried in the caves by that awful river of sand. <laughs> Gosh, the Nomai sure were ingenious, building an entire settlement underground. The Sunless City. Wow. That means there were two groups of Nomai, one that lived on Ember Twin and the one that lived here on Brittle Hollow. But they must have traveled around the solar system since Nomai writing can be found on other planets too. Yeah. I know, Rebek, don't worry. We've got that covered, we know how the Nomai traveled around, they created on Ember Twin a teleportation system that allowed them to move around. These are gravity stones. Oh wait, could I have just thrust my way up the up the building? Like that? There we go. 
I doubt it. I don't think my thrusters would have carried me that far. But maybe they would, and I'm an idiot. That's entirely possible. What's this? Okay. Sure. So this must be, like, it's describing the portal, I think, that people come here. Gravity cannon. Oh, no, I don't want to go to the gravity cannon. I love that you can knock these over. It's so bad. No, no gravity cannon for me. The hanging city. North. Uh, I'm going to say that that's not precisely where I want to go. But, the well, surface entity is dependent on where you put the pro surface integrity zero. Seems about right. Blimey. Okay. Yeah. Yikes. Oh my goodness. You really don't have a lot of time. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, Let's get moving to the Hanging City. I mean, there's places to explore here. Maybe we start with the Hanging City, we come back to the Quantum Tower. Quantum Tower is definitely somewhere we need to go, but we also need knowledge. We need to know what happened to the sun. Is there something the Nomai did? Ah! School district. It wasn't three escape pods. They were districts. Meltwater district. Eye Shrine district. Black Hole Forge district. Unless this is specific to here. The Black Hole Forge. People have talked about the Black Hole Forge before. I've seen that. I've, I've heard of that place. And of course it would be where the Black Hole is. Why in the world do you forge in a Black Hole? The controls? Wait. Whoa. Okay. What is one trying to forge in a Black Hole Forge? Looks like it's gone up. Oh gosh, better get moving. Planet is looking very unstable, I've got to say. Yeah, the surface integrity isn't perfect, but it's okay. Uh, okay, yeah. So it pulls things in and out of the black hole. Uh, yeah, fine. Lovely, lots of oxygen, so we like to see. Astroin project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? Is this a uh, nope? Okay. Is that nope? Okay. Ship hull breach detected. Gosh. So my ship just collapsed into the uh, into the black hole, huh? Well, that's not great news. Let's see if we can learn what we can. Solution two: We could craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. Abandoning the vessel's warp core and its casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true, however, it's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. We would be best to relearn, I think. I would very much like to... I would very much like to craft such a powerful core. More relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge... There are so many Nomai, and really, I've never met them. I don't know what they sound like. More relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I could recreate the basic design. Idea. This is the safest path for our clan. It is the safest. It is the safest path the best one? Our goal is worth the risk. Is it though? We've tried for so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find. If the search for the eye is a futile one, we should choose the option with the least potential for harm. So the reason they came to this galaxy was because they were called by the eye. Nobody knows what it is, and it seems that when they arrive, the eye just stopped communicating with them. The greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have the design of such a powerful core, or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. No, but Poke was apprenticed to a Nona who created the original design, and our Black Hole Forge is adept at crafting simpler cores. I believe I can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but a Nona explained many of the designs to me. All right, so the vessel they used to get here obviously has a warp core, uh, and they used that to, to they were gonna use that in order to, uh, in order to what? Right, in order to go back in time. 
or possibly in order to uh, shoot people between locations. That's also possible. Maybe both. Come with me. Okay. Listen. But, oh my goodness, don't lock me in here. Um, so the, the we need to know what these say. We've got to learn. Interesting. Okay. We'll go up there next. A uh, bit concerned about the stability of this place. Or we could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. Yeah, use the same warp core. This would be this would require a return to Dark Bramble. Plume said there were many good Nomai perished there. So the Dark Bramble has been here for much, much longer than I thought. I thought the Dark Bramble was a recent thing, but it's clearly not. Interesting. Maybe something woke the Dark Bramble. No. Oh, I don't know. My mentor, Coleus, and his mentor, his old mentor, once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil on Ember Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. What Mellorai and I learned from that fossil would theoretically help us to evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen. I'm guessing that they thought the anglerfish were blind. I remember the anglerfish fossil. We used to play Fossil Fish Cave when we were children. Yes. Okay. When we were children. How interesting. Okay, so yes. Fossil Fish Cave. Uh, yeah, we learned that the anglerfish were blind, basically. The vessel's wall core is broken. At best, recall, uh, at best, recall those present when the vessel crashed said it sustained lethal injuries. There's no guaranteed reward for this risk. Even if it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint, provided we're able to transport it back here. Conoy, perhaps we could still repair it. My grandmother told me that there was little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. So what was this plan? I thought this plan was basically the same. No. So they get the old warp cart and create a new one, or they try and collect the old one from the vessel. I wonder what they decided to do. I mean, what would I have done? What would we have done? Don't know. Don't know. Uh, I mean, maybe that's what went wrong? Is that either it was... Oh my goodness. Let's go! Amazing that these sort of things are, are still so... 99%. Ooh. Um, just checking the integrity, you know. Keeping an eye on things. So we're learning things, we're moving forward, and we are learning things. Oh, this didn't lead anywhere interesting. Or did it? Or did it? Uh. Or did it? Okay, yep. Uh, the answer to that question is... Not really. Or did it? Or did it? Mm, I'm thinking that this is the... So these are the buildings on the surface. These are people's homes on the surface, right? Oh, we've been here. Okay, we've been here. Have we? To our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just walked here from the White Hole Station. On the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design worked. We successively recreated warp travel. I don't know how close it is to a known as original design, but as long as we what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Cassava, I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, that would violate causality. We have seen this. But it makes a bit more sense now. So, ah. Oh, so that's how they violated causality. It's how they learned about time travel. Is by this new warp core that they tried to design off of Anova's old one. So they did option one. They tried to create a new warp design that was as similar to the last one as they could manage. The last one was damaged. Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? So, okay. That's the quantum moon they're describing. So none of this is new to us now. So where do we go from here? 
Well, these, we know what this is. This is the teleporter that teleports people back here from wherever they start. Uh, probably from Ash Twin or Ember Twin. We've been here, what does this say? Hanging city below. So this was the way down. All right. So my ship is now lost, and I am stuck on the surface of this planet, and I have no idea how long we have left before it gets sucked into the void. Seemingly we have a little bit of time. Has Ember Twin stopped shooting things at us? Where is Ember Twin, the, the, the little tiny floater around? Oh no! <laughs> Service integrity, 3%. All right, we're out, we're leaving. Oh, 20%, vitals low. I've injured myself one too many times. Okay, so, yeah. So they created the warp core in order to teleport through the white hole. That's huge, it means that by teleporting here, you know, in response to the eye, the message from the eye that told them to come here, the Nomu, uh, like, they used the teleportation, they came here, and all fun things happened. Uh, they discovered that causality could be broken, and that's what led them to create this uh, new thing. Like, create, uh, it led them to build the station to test the sort of ability of this weird warp core to travel through time, and that's what breaks the entire galaxy. Um, but the question... Oh, okay, okay. The question that still remains to us, the question that we can't yet answer is, you know, what? why didn't it happen at the time? Why did it happen so long after the Numu died? We need to answer that question. We need to learn the lessons of this quantum realm. To the quantum tower!